I was looking up chess things, apparently. Dun 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 dun. Wow. Facebook React Docs. <laughs> it's a nice landing page. So the thing I'm looking for here is controlled inputs. And I will find it at some point. Okay. Uh, forms. 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 Mm. Okay, event target value, really? Okay, what we wanna do here is we're getting the on page update function passed down all the way from page admin. So let's call it here, this props on page update. The ID that we're updating is this props ID. The field is event target name. And the value is event target value. Let's put these on new lines just to make it a little neater. Ooh, that got messy quickly. Okay, we can delete all that other nonsense. Okay, now if we go all the way back up to our page admin and on our update, we can accept ID, field, value, and we can echo these out. ID, field, value. Okay, let's see what this gives us. Dun, 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 dun. Edit. What? Props of undefined. Page editor. This props. Oh, I'm not binding this. Well, panel, page, change. I'm not binding this, so I need to do this, find, handle page, change. <laughs> A legitimate burning basket. Undefined burning basket. There we go. Page ID 5, the title field changes to burning baskets 1, 2, and 3. Really cool. Okay. Now we're going to do some more back-end static tomfoolery just for fun. We'll have an update method. Update ID field value. And in here we'll say this <laughs> updated uh, and we'll refer to the ID in here so that multiple updates will... Well, do we really want to do that? Page is... No, I have not heard of that. Um, this updates. This updates. <laughs> this updates. Okay, we're going to do this really inefficiently because I don't have time to work out a really cool solution for this. I am going to... <laughs> there was a real link? Really? <laughs> Was that a real link? Have you heard of delete link? <laughs> okay, well, um, I really don't know how you can paste links because I've got it to mods only for paste links because of spammers, so maybe format it interestingly? <laughs> I'm sorry. Tweet it at me. Yeah, tweet it at me. Just tweet it at assert Chris. Tweet it at that. And then I'll see it. Have I heard of live coding TV? Yes, I have. And their appalling treatment of people who just want their accounts deleted. Is that what you were going to refer to? That horrible scene that's been kicked up on... Uh, on 
uh, Hacker News. Okay, back to my inefficient solution. This updates push. This is horrible. This is horrible. ID field value. Wow. This is super horrible because look what I'm going to do now. Filter. Map. <laughs> yeah, that was a really horrible situation. Um, okay, so <laughs> oh, this is so horrible. This updates for each. This is why this is horrible. Each update that goes is going to increase this runtime exponentially. But anyway. Okay, so <laughs> if uh, uh, update is page, page update, <laughs> it's not there. Don't judge me for this code. Please don't judge me for this code. I never wanted it to be like this. Okay. Page admin. On page update. This props backend update ID field value. Just got an email yesterday saying too many web dev streams. Wow. That's hilarious. Yeah, it was not cool. I streamed like the first the first time I ever streamed, I streamed on that. And this is live coding TV I'm talking about. First time I ever streamed code recently, I streamed on there. And the trouble was that anyone who wanted to watch, firstly they needed an account to comment at all, which Okay, so maybe you need a Twitch account to comment on here, I don't know. But they also couldn't watch the stream because Flash. So they couldn't watch it on mobile. Which kind of sucked because a lot of people were telling me they wanted to watch it on mobile. And the, like the management tools for it compared to Twitch, not great, eh? Hey? And then hearing about the whole psycho co founder nonsense going on, <laughs> it's pretty, pretty crazy. Okay, let's see if this actually updates because I'll be, I'll be amazed if it does. It, well, Okay, for each of undefined, because back in the back end. Oh, sweet. So back in the back end, we don't have an updates array here. Also, remember the same thing we had to do when we updated the state after a delete, we have to do after an update. Otherwise, it's just not going to update. Let's see if this works. Load everything. Oh, it breaks. What? What am I doing wrong? <laughs> uh, okay. For each map return page. <laughs> Not returning anything. That's the other thing. I had to put up a schedule and it. <laughs> Backend code's on fire, man. It's totally working. Okay, but that's not that's not working. That's not working. For some reason, it's not firing this off. Let's see. Console log. Update in in the backend. Let's see if it gets that far. Don't tease me about the backend code, man. It's all supposed to be web sockets. Remember, that's what I'm building up to here. Okay, so it gets that far. Updates. Okay. So, when we get all of these, let's console log updates and let's view what that is. Because maybe I'm just doing something silly here. Update and backend. That doesn't. What? This. <laughs> Look, just get off my back, okay? The backend code is the backend code. That's how it's going to do for now. Oh, it doesn't do anything. This updates push. Does it not rerun this rend this state thing? <laughs> Could
could use Firebase, but actually I want to look at errors, so I'm going to do errors. Sorry. I'm at a loss. Oh, it's because I'm turning this because I'm a numbskull. Woohoo! Chris learns to code on stream. Okay, edit. Let's change that. Okay, now we have three updates. What do each of these have? Title, Burning Baskets, Burning Baskets 2, and Burning Baskets 3. Yay! Okay, so what's going wrong inside this map method? This updates for each. Update. If update the first index is page ID. Oh. Yes? No. Yes. Yes. Let's take that out. Then page field. Oh. Well. Well, this is going to be really consuming. Consuming. Burning baskets one. Okay. It shows what it's supposed to be, but. Then it doesn't, uh, that doesn't work. I don't want to do a map and then filter. I want to do a filter and then map because I'm going to reduce the record set that I have to work with, which is a good thing. What is map? Okay, so filter is a higher order function that takes an array and if each, if, and runs each item through that through a function and if the function returns true then that item is included if the function returns false then the item is excluded so it's a way of stepping over a whole array in a very short amount of code map says for each item in this array run this function and whatever this function returns replace the original item with that so map is a way of transforming an array item by item with a callback function in very little code it's a rep it's an alternative to doing a for each loop and modifying a new array or switching out items of that array. But it, this doesn't seem to be working the way that I wanted to um, and I th think it is because I need to reference this. So modified is page and change this and change this. I think there's a scoping issue going on and I just want to clear, I just want to do that code to check. <laughs> They're ridiculous, eh? Especially like, especially the new lambda syntax is pretty crazy. This looks nice, but the, the times when this is useful. <laughs> okay, it's modifying this. I think it's getting, okay, I don't think this is the issue anymore, so I'm going to revert to what I had. Well, do I want to I actually don't want to. I want to keep this like it is. It's modifying it. If I console log this out again, just to make doubly sure, modified, then I'm sure I'm going to see modified page objects, right? So you see burning baskets one, I'm going to press four, burning baskets four in the title. You're looking down here. I'm going to press seven, burning basket seven. So it's modifying this object, it's just not, uh, it's just not updating, well, I mean, I say that, is it not updating? Page admin, refresh this stuff. Okay, oh, I know what's going on, okay, so... We render these out and we pass each page, okay? So it's getting the new page, but when we get down to page editor, remember we cached this title and this segment initially? Now we can update this stuff in a handle page change. We can update the state from here, but what we actually want to do, what would be interesting to do, is to, instead of updating it directly in this component, to 